Hey Zebras, how's it going? I'm really glad to be back this week. I'm feeling so much better. Thank you again for all your lovely comments on the last video. Like I said, I haven't really been feeling myself the last few weeks, but I feel like I'm starting to get back to where I was. So that's good news. Some exciting stuff is in the works. I can't really talk about it right now because I don't want to count my eggs before. That's not right. I don't want to count my chickens before my eggs have hatched. Um, but I'm playing something really exciting and hopefully that will come to fruition and I can tell you guys a little bit more about it closer to the time. I'm really excited. I really wish I could tell you, but I, I can't just yet. So this week I thought I would do a little bit more of a light-hearted video just because last week's was quite heavy and I just want to lighten the mood a little bit and especially as I'm feeling much better in myself, I thought I would do something a little bit happier. Um, I know a couple of people have asked to hear a little bit more in depth about my wheelchair. I will do that soon because I've actually had it for a couple of months now. So I will give an in-depth review of how I found it, um, but not this week. This week I thought I would do my personal essentials for when I'm having a flare because nobody enjoys a flare and I don't think you even have to have a chronic physical illness as such to have a flare. I think this can apply to people who are suffering with mental health issues as well. I know people that suffer with quite severe depression and just as I end up bed bound, they can end up bed bound too. I thought that this could help. I also wanted to do a little bit of a review with things that I've been using recently to kind of help with my health or like some dietary changes so I will include a couple of those in this video but let's get into it. First of all I think hydration is really really important. It's such an adult thing to get excited about but I got a blender like a smoothie maker. I try and encourage myself to put more fruit in my diet. I've never been a massive fruit fan but I thought I would give it a go and that came with two really good water bottles which I have been using non-stop. Um, this was a smoothie that I made earlier. It looks gross, but it, it wasn't. It was really nice. But I definitely think hydration. Hydration is so important, especially if you have chronic illnesses because it's really important that you are putting that water back in your body, whether it's in a smoothie or water or juice. I'm the worst for keeping track of like how hydrated I am. I'm really bad. I could sometimes go like a full day with drinking less than one of these, which is really bad. <laughs> but one of my specialists said that it, I needed to be drinking three liters a day, which is an absurd amount of liquid. And I'm a pretty petite person. I don't really know where three liters of liquid is gonna go in my body, but I'm making an effort to try and replenish the water that I'm losing. So a little bit about the, the blender that I got. I feel like I'm on uh, QVC, is that what it is, the selling program? I gotta tell you something, I have this ladder, it mm -hmm. is awesome. Oh, now what and did everybody you use it for, wants, Everybody wants this ladder. I live in an apartment with um, vaulted ceiling. Uh-oh. It's a Breville, um, it's called the Blend Active, and it was, I think it was 16 pounds on Amazon, which is really, really cheap, especially for a smoothie maker and a blender. It's really great for me because it came with two of these big things. I can keep a track on exactly how much I'm intaking a day because it, it has the, the ounces and mil marked on the side, which is great. Obviously, if you're not a massive smoothie fan, then maybe I would just recommend getting some actual water bottles just to make sure that you are aware of how much you're drinking. But I've, I've had this blender now about, about, three or four weeks so I've been able to use it a few times and I really like it and I actually am enjoying making fruit smoothies and I never thought I would say that. Ice cream. So I mentioned in one of my last videos that I have been put on a diet 
and that sucks. You're probably sick of hearing it, but I have not been eating gluten for about two years, one to two years, like fully not eating anything with gluten for about a year, but I've been cutting it out for about two years. And when I went to see my gastric specialist, he told me that I not only couldn't eat gluten anymore, but I couldn't eat anything with sugar in, like refined sugar. And you'd be surprised how much sugar is in things and things that you wouldn't think have sugar in, have sugar in. Even something like ketchup has sugar in. It's, it's insane. So my diet has gone from being restricted to severely restricted. When I'm poorly, sometimes all I can manage is something like ice cream. It sounds like such an excuse. It's very little effort to eat. It's really easy to eat. And when you're feeling poo and rubbish, ice cream makes a lot of things better. Ice cream contains a lot of sugar, go figure. So I was quite disheartened by this and I scoured the web for any kind of ice cream that I could find that was low in sugar was like a diabetic ice cream and I couldn't really find much until I found this. Oh. This is called Yo ice cream. And whilst it does have sugar in, it is organic sugar. So I was told that I could have natural sugars that occur in fruits and dairy and stuff. It's just the refined sugar, the bad sugar, um, I can't have because osmosis apparently yeah but this is the only ice cream that i could find on the market that has natural sugar in and it's expensive don't get me wrong it's more expensive than like a pot of ben and jerry's which was my favorite um but it's so good and it's it's really creamy it's creamier it's you you can taste that it's better you can so there are a few different flavors this is the vanilla um, I also had the chocolate one, that is all gone because I couldn't help myself and I've also got a salted caramel one and I'm pretty impressed. Now if you're spending a lot of time in bed or in your room it can get quite isolating and quite lonely and quite boring so I would recommend definitely stocking up on movies like your favourite movies. I am a massive Disney nerd, I am such a, <laughs> I'm such a big fan of Disney, it's not even funny. Um, and I sometimes, if I feel good, I'll go to a car boot sale. And I have amassed quite the collection of Disney films. A few just to show you. I think stocking up on films that are going to make you laugh or films that are light-hearted can definitely improve and brighten your mood. Also, if you're unable to go out and get hard copies of movies, there is now access to lots of really good streaming programs. Um, I use Netflix, which is a super, super popular one. There isn't a lot of choice on there, um, but there are some good series that you can binge watch if you are me. So these things definitely keep my mind preoccupied and they're obviously of a lighter disposition. Um, comfortable pyjamas. Now there's a bit of a running joke in my family that every time I seem to go to hospital my mum would buy me a comfy pair of pyjamas to put on as soon as I came home so I felt less yucky. And I have a lot of pairs of pyjamas from being in the hospital as you'd imagine. So I have quite the selection to pick from but I definitely think that being in a comfortable pair of pyjamas or sweatpants or something like that and loose fitting as well, I think that's really important, loose fitting clothes makes a world of difference. Medication is obviously a no-brainer. Um, if you're feeling rubbish and you're in pain, then obviously if you have medication that can help with that, having that on hand is obviously very helpful. I keep mine just on my side of my bed, so if I wake up in the middle of the night and I don't feel good, I don't have to start rummaging around to try and find my medication. It's just there and I know what I need to take and how much to take. Candles and fairy lights. There's something about lights, like fairy lights in specific, that I find really, really calming. Um, it just kind of sets a cozy atmosphere. It's quite relaxed. Um, candles can give off a really nice scent that's like a calming scent. Um, you can get 
candles in all kinds of scents nowadays. I, especially those Yankee candles. I mean, they're expensive, but I love them so much. Uh, they can make my, make my room smell like a bakery. I mean, what's not to love about that? And finally, I would say a bath, a warm bath. I mean, I can't have baths too hot anymore because I will pass out. I will pass out and drown. So that's cheery. Yeah, obviously, because I have pots, which is um, a problem with your blood pressure and your heart rate. Heat is a stimuli for my pots and makes it worse. So obviously I can't have a bath too hot and um, I might treat myself to a bath bomb and have a lukewarm bath but I would definitely recommend running a bath and putting on your favourite songs and just unwinding for a bit. So that sums up the things that I do to try and help combat a flare whenever I seem to have one which is a lot nowadays unfortunately and I know that some of these ideas may seem really straightforward and really obvious but there may be one in there that you haven't considered. And also, I thought I would show you a couple of products that I have been using that have made my life happier. <laughs> I would love to hear from you guys what sort of things you do when you have a flare. Before I go, I would love to do a Q&A at some point with you guys. We are 92 zebras strong, and um, I just thought I would tell you that a group of zebras are called a dazzle. So we're the, we are a dazzle. We are officially a dazzle, guys. Um, yeah, but I would love to do a Q&A with you guys at some point. Um, if you have questions that you would like me to answer, to answer those for you. Like I said, this channel is here to help you guys. I feel like you have supported me a lot more than I've supported you guys. So I would love to help provide any information that I can that might help you on your own separate journey. I am very, very grateful for you guys sticking around and watching my videos. And as always, guys, I will see you next week on Wednesday at 6pm. Bye!